Hey, Coach, so I know you weren't too pleased with the defense against Long Beach on Monday. So how would you evaluate the defense, the defense tonight against North Florida? I think we still got a long way to go. Um, I think some of the kids from Long Beach, in, in truth, uh, deserve a lot of credit. But, um, you know, it, it's, it's, what is it, November 19th, 17th? 17th. So it's still early. But uh, we're not to a point yet where we're making multiple rotations defensively. So that's really the answer to your question. Um, I'm never happy, so let's just get that out on the table. So um, we just, we're just we still trying to get to a point where I was trying to tell the guys in the huddle, um, we got to be able to get where we can have a possession where we make three rotations. Um, you know, they'll they, – a lot of basketball people say you got to help the helper, and it's got to be a constant thing. So, um, you know, we're we're not quite there yet, but uh, we're getting there. I thought, uh, you know, Matt's a friend of mine, North Florida's coach. So, they um, they pass, and they don't they don't, well, they weren't just jacking shots up. So they they tried to force us to play half court defense, which was a great practice for us. So I thought tonight was great practice for us. Miles Johnson, the second half, seemed like he was pretty active defensively. A couple blocks, a couple steals. Uh, yeah, kind of 13 up. rebounds, nine offensive. So as he's, you know, my thing with Miles is just, you know, be, being able to play faster and be aggressive at all times, um, you know, for us and for his career. He also said, for us, he had seven deflections. So just uh, getting in unbelievable shape, committing to being – committing to his body development and pushing himself harder, harder than he's ever pushed himself. You know, it doesn't do any good to be the biggest guy on the floor if you don't play big. you got to impose your will. You know, when, when your uh, strength, whatever your strength is, uh, you got to play to it in life and in basketball. And out there, his size is his strength. So he's got to impose it on his opponents, which I think he did a better job of tonight. Uh, one another storyline that's emerging: Tiger Campbell's threes, four, four out of four, now eleven out of eighteen. Um, yeah, not not a surprise at all for us. Um, he's put an unbelievable amount of time in, and and w w my experience tells me guys shoot a higher percentage as they get older, just because the game slows down to them. But he's put an unbelievable amount of time in in the off season, and uh, you know we we chart our shooting drills. So it makes, it's on a clock, how many makes, uh, and he's been a consistent winner. And I'm talking about he's going against Dave, Jules, Johnny, Jaime, uh, Jake, and he's consistently beating those guys in a time shooting, three-point shooting drill. So not a shock at all, because he didn't do that last year. So obviously a big plus for us. Makes me, you know, when the guys make shots, it makes the coach look a lot smarter. Uh, I tried to get it off off his uh, shoulder just a little bit, um, you know, make sure he's finishing on his toes. I, and a lot of it, I think, with him is just his confidence. You know, I've tried to spend really more time on his head than his form. That he knows that we, you know, for us to be who we need to be, we need him to be, a, be able to knock down open shots. So once we started back this summer, I've just been – Riding him about it, not letting him pass up open shots, trying to change his mindset. Coach, what was what's the difference between the game tonight that Jaime Hawke has played and the game a few couple of days ago in terms of effort, uh, focus? He seemed really dialed in tonight. Yeah, I don't know. In fairness to Jaime, I think he's always dialed in. I don't know, but um, you know. 20 and 8 from him is just like another day at the office, right? I mean, he, he, uh, he's been doing that since I got here. You know, his, his uh, energy, you know, I'll, I'll just never forget his freshman year. You know, when he was, uh, you know, inserting him into the lineup and his attitude and his, and his fight changed our program. With, so. Miles, with Miles Johnson, when he gets touches down there, would you rather have him put it up or kick it out when he 
picked it up. Depends. You know, it, it, it's easy to say, well, why don't he score? Well, you, it's hard unless you got him in here and he says, well, uh, my feet were off balance. When he's got, so my message to him is when you got your balance, you got to be a finisher. But if he feels two defenders, he's a good passer. I have no problem with him passing it. But, uh, you know, we're still trying to develop his confidence in his low post. But it's all about getting your, being able to get on balance around the rim, whether you're a guard driving in there or you're a big guy. So I think there's, there's a few times tonight where you're probably thinking, why didn't he shoot it? I think he kind of felt maybe he was about to travel. He was on the move, and he maybe hadn't gathered his feet. And the help was coming. So if he dribbles to gather his feet at 6'11", they're going to steal it. So, but again, you know, that's an area where we work, we work hard with him on his catching it on the move to where he can gather his feet and score without a dribble. And it's, he's still, it's a still a work in progress with that. One thing just wanted to point out, he and Ken Naruba didn't commit a foul until about six minutes <laughs> to go in the game. <laughs> well, maybe uh, Randy and the guys had somewhere to go eat tonight. I don't know. But they were shooting a lot of threes. They were, it's not like they, they weren't really taking it out of our big guys in the low post. Uh, do you have any updates on Cody Riley's health? Um, yeah. was it, how, how long has it been now? Mm, a little, about a week. No. Nah. Week, week plus. It was the Bakersfield game was last Tuesday. So, I mean, he's doing really well. I mean, they're very optimistic. But I, I would say, I know what you're probably getting at. I mean, there's probably zero. I, I'd say very, very minimal chance he could play next week. You know, it's really a two-week minimum injury. And I'm, you know, he might not want to hear that because he's really been working hard. And he, he's, he's, he's responded to treatments great. But, again, one of my best coaching moves ever was not playing Johnny last year against Southern Cal at home because he, he – he would have re he sprained his ankle the day before, and his adrenaline was running. He wanted to play, and if I let him do it, then there's zero chance he's healthy for the NCAA tournament. So, you know, Cody's, you know, sometimes as a coach, you got to make sure you save your players from themselves. All right, guys, thank you. Thanks.